morning, y'all. Oh my gosh. It is, I don't even know what the freak. Today is 12th. Wednesday, I think. Wednesday. I don't know. But I'm so freaking annoyed right now. Like, I'm about to have a little event session with y'all. But it is what it is. Because, you know, I share stuff with y'all because y'all my family. And I just got to get some stuff off my chest because I'm so freaking annoyed right now. But before we even get into today's vlog, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I post a video. Make sure you guys click the bell and click all so you can be notified for all videos. Because some of you guys don't get notified at all. But y'all, let me tell y'all about everything that has been going on. So this weekend, I had family come in. I had a great weekend. Everything's great. You know, I've been a little tired though. Like, I've, I feel like I've been sleeping fine. Like, y'all know I have a CPAP or whatever. So when I wake up in the morning, I see that I got eight hours of sleep, nine hours of sleep. Like, everything all Gucci. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I've still been a little tired lately. I'm like, what's going on, P? So whatever, whatever, whatever. So then last night, I want to say not even last night. I want to say during the day yesterday, I noticed that my house was a little warm, but I just thought it was just like how it is sometimes when it's hot outside, sometimes the house could be warm, especially upstairs because the heat rises. So I was just thinking that was that. So then, uh, you know, when you cooking and stuff, you know, it make the house a little hot downstairs because you got the stove and everything, the oven. And yesterday I made baked chicken and stuff. So it was just like the oven was on. It was pretty hot. But around like 7 o'clock, I was like, damn. And when I looked at the thermostat, it said 80 degrees downstairs. And the um, AC was set on six on um, 70, 70 degrees. So I was like, what the hell? So I was like, well, let me just sit down because I have been doing stuff all day, walking around, doing this, doing that. So let me just sit down. Maybe I'm just hot. But then everybody else was hot too. So then when we went upstairs to go to bed last night, it was like the same thing on the thermostat upstairs, 80 degrees. So I was like, oh my God, sugar was painting bad. It was just like really bad. I had the worst night's sleep ever. The AC was on, but it wasn't on. It was like it wasn't getting cold enough or something. I don't know what the hell going on with it, but I'm just here to tell y'all that your girl is freaking annoyed and tired. So I called the HVAC people to see, well, I got up at 3 a.m. put in a request about the HVAC, they called me like a couple hours ago and was like, they can come today. Thank God they can come today because that's a blessing in itself. So they come in today between 12 and two to come see what's going on with it. And uh, hopefully we'll have some update, but baby girl is hot. And then it has the nerve to be hot outside today. Just like it was just getting cooler outside. Like, you know, I'm thinking fall about to poke her ass through and it's still damn, it's still fresh in summer. Like, I'm just like, what's going on, bruh, it's hot. Uh, then also, Mama Bree had to go to the urgent care this morning. Her back is hurting really bad. She's been talking about her back hurting all weekend. She went to get a massage on Saturday and or either Sunday and still is having issues with her back. So she decided to go to the urgent care to see what's going wrong with it. She can't take any like ibuprofen or Aleve or anything because of her kidneys. So only thing she can take is Tylenol. And, you know, Tylenol sometimes is not going to cut the mustard. So... She was just like, let me go to the urgent care and hopefully they can give her a muscle relaxer or something. I've been massaging her all weekend. We did heat pack. We did ice pack. We did CBD cream. All of that stuff is not working. So she was just like, let me just go because whatever, whatever. So she went to go do that. And good thing she has an appointment with her, neuro with her not neurologist, but the PE yeah, neurologist for this, for the nerves. She has a, a appointment with them on Friday because, you know, she was talking about her migraines and stuff. So. I don't know, maybe this is all connected with her, her nerves and her muscles and stuff. So that's good that she has an appointment with them on Friday. Um, I have an appointment, not really an appointment, but I have to go get blood work done on, <gasps> excuse me, I have to get blood work done on Thursday because I have to go get my inflammation levels checked again because you guys know I went to the rheumatologist before and they just want to keep an eye on my inflammation in my body to see what is what. I also have an appointment next Friday to go see the um, nerve doctor about my lymphedema. Finally, I'm so excited to go to that appointment um, just to see like, you know, to have official diagnosis of lymphedema and what type do I have? Like maybe could put me on a treatment plan to get like the lymph lymphatic um, massages and stuff like that. So I'm excited. I'm going to make sure I, I vlog that whole journey going to the doctor about that for you guys. But 
Yeah. Um, also, I got to tell you guys, Sugar was sick this weekend. This whole weekend, we had family over. Like I said, we had guests come in town. And Sugar, we know how Sugar is. Sugar is very playful. She loves being with people. But this weekend, Sugar was not having it. So we noticed it, like, I want to say we noticed it on Friday morning. Like, Sugar was kind of like... I'm sorry, my freaking hand hurting. Sugar was kind of acting kind of strange. She was acting like she really couldn't open her mouth that much. Like, she could she could eat, but it was, she was acting like she couldn't really yarn or really bark. So, we was like, what is going on? So, I thought maybe it was because, I mean, because Sugar had, and then Sugar has times where she get too cold at night. Her body would, her bones would kind of get tense and, like, stiff. So, I figured she was just having one of those days. She needed to thaw out. Her bones were achy. So, that's why she was kind of acting weird. But then... Her, then we noticed, like, later on that Friday night, we noticed that her eye was really swollen. We noticed that her, like, like she was drooling a lot. And we noticed that she was, like, her tongue was hanging out the left side, the right side of her mouth. So, we was like, okay, something's not wrong with you. Something's not right with Sugar. So, um, I don't know. We just kept watching her all weekend. Then we gave her a Benadryl because we was like, oh, maybe she got bit by something on her right side. So, that's why her right side looked a little puffy. So we gave her a Benadryl. We could tell her face swelling went down a little bit. So we was like, oh, maybe it's just a bite. It's not a big deal. And then we started noticing that she was still acting weird. She didn't want to play. Like even um, like my um, godsons were here and she didn't even really want to play with them. Like and she normally is always following them, barking, you know, so she wasn't really herself. So we all, everybody in the house was so concerned about sugar. And we were just like, what's going on with sugar? So... We noticed that she didn't really want to bite her ball because Sugar loves her balls. If anybody knows Sugar, she loves, let me show y'all. She loves this little red ball that's right there. She loves that ball. So when we noticed that she wasn't really like going at, like to get her ball, like it was right beside her and she didn't even want to bother with it. We was like, okay, something's wrong with her mouth. So DJ started doing research. He was like, oh, she could have a locked jaw. She could have this. She could have this. And then da da da. So then all of a sudden, I was like, so I started Googling stuff. So I was like, well, maybe Sugar has an abscess or whatever. Because, you know, like Bulldogs are known for having dental issues or whatever with their teeth and like gum disease and stuff. Because of like the food always gets stuck up in their, like, in their jaws. So it don't really. So I was like, she probably got some type of thing. So sure enough, um, Rayshawn, she she wouldn't let, when me and Miracle tried to go in her mouth, we didn't see nothing. And she wouldn't really let us go in her mouth. But then um, with Sugar, um, Rayshawn was like doing something and like rubbing her, her, her side. And we noticed that when you rub her right, her right jaw, she would like relax and it felt good to her. So she let Rayshawn open her mouth. And when he opened her mouth, we saw the abscess. It was sitting right here on her tooth, and it was really inflamed and like a little fat, little pimple. It looked like a little fat, little pink pimple. So we was like, "Oh shit, yeah, she got an abscess." So, um, we just called the vet, and good thing, um, they were closed on. Well, you know, on the weekend the vets closed, like they closed early, and Sunday they was closed. So that Monday I called when I woke up, and then they was like they had an appointment at two fifteen. Mama and DJ took her. She was like done within 15 minutes they saw they said the abscess wasn't as bad as they have seen other abscess in dogs they said that they they, they do recommend to do a um a dental exam where she get x-rays because she can have some abscess that's down in her gums that they can't really see and then it was like she needs to get a, a deep cleansing and all that stuff they was like the dental exam was 400 the cleanse the dental cleaning would be 200 where they had to put her to sleep and clean out all that tar and gunk because Sugar has not had her a dental, like a cleaning since she was born. So it could be time for her to have one. I mean, not saying dogs have to get that done like we do, but it's good to get it done as they get older. So I'm um, sorry, the camera position weird, y'all, because I'm my hand, my uh, arm hurting. So she was like, um, so the, um, the, I was asking the girl, I was like, well, how much was the, I was like, how much is the diagnosis fee? She was like, it'll be $75 to diagnose her. Um, she was like, it'll be $75 to diagnose her. After that, it would, um, they don't know exactly what's wrong, but different fees could occur. So I was like, well, do y'all have a payment plan? She was like, no, you can get apply for our care, our credit card care credit. And you could just do that if it's too expensive for you guys. I was like, girl, I'm not about to open up no credit card for no, no, we're going to pay. So I don't know. So that was that, and then so kind of found out that sugar they gave her some antibiotics and some pain medicine, so she got to take that for seven days. She got to do it every twelve hours, so twice a day. 
But matter of fact, I got to give her her medicine right now. But, you know, she is feeling better since they got her. And she's on her third day. And she, we could tell the difference that she is feeling um, better and she's feeling good. So, that's good. And Mama just texted me. She's at the urgent care. She said they think she might have sh a shingles flare up. My mama never had shingles, but they always recommend her getting the shingles vaccination because, you know, that can happen with kidney transplants, I guess. And now she just texts me. I just got a text and said they think I might have a shingles flare. Dang, girl. Well, anyways, I'll keep y'all posted on that when she get home. But I think she's still talking to the doctor. But, yeah, right now I'm about to go wash dishes from last night because it was so freaking hot. And we didn't, I didn't want to wash not nan dish. I didn't want to do not nan thing. So I'm about to wash dishes, and I'm about to make some. I haven't had nothing to eat. It's almost 12 o'clock, and I'm hungry. And i probably going to make me, like, a chicken salad or something. I got some chicken breasts that I took out, so I might just slice those up with some tomatoes and some, I don't know. I'm I'm going I'm to do something. I'll probably record it. If not, I'm definitely going to record me washing dishes and just wiping stuff down because my house is a mess. Like, I really need to do a deep cleaning, like, especially when you have guests. Like, I've been having guests back to back. You know, I've probably been here for, like, a month. Like, I just have been, I've been having guests nonstop, and it's time to just chill out from guests, really deep clean my house, and get stuff together. So, I know this is a long talking part, but I just had to let y'all know what's going on in the Lasseter household. Oh, yeah, update on Rayshawn and his allergies. He's doing better. He's taking Allegra twice a day. And so that's doing better. And then he'll, next week he goes to one Allegra to see how it go. But he's doing a lot better. He hasn't had no swelling since we went to the allergy specialist, all that kind of stuff like that. So, oh, yeah, y'all, it's been a long freaking couple weeks. So, yeah, now let's get into this vlog. All right, y'all, let me give y'all an update. So, they came for the AC when he got here. He was just, like, looking upstairs, looking in the attic, went outside, came back in. It was like, oh, y'all have a, a big problem. He said that the fan for the AC does not spin. It's broken. It He reset it. It came back on, but he said um, he's on, he was positive that it was going to get back out within minutes, seconds, hours, or day. It wasn't going to last long. So, he was right. It literally probably came on that moment that he said it came on. Then when he left, it it went off. It is currently 82 degrees in this house. And um, we're, we have to wait till they the request is the part comes in to get the, the fan fixed. So, that could be who knows how many days. They did say they were going to bring some portable AC units um, here to cool us off. But... Don't know if they're going to be able to come today. They said definitely tomorrow between 8 and 12, but today, I don't know. 
So thank God we do have a portable unit in the garage that we could bring in here for tonight. So we'll probably just leave it downstairs and all sleep downstairs tonight. Y'all, this is just so, oh my God, y'all. It's so freaking hot in this house. I don't want to breathe. I don't even want to damn go to the bathroom. I just want to sit still in one spot, like literally. I can't do this, y'all. I cannot. It's just sweaty. Just like my titties sweating, my rolls sweating, my arms, the creases of my arms sweating. Bro, just, just pray for us. Mama Bree over here. Mama Bree is over there relaxing. She, um, they think it might be a shingles flare up or either, um, yeah, that's what that's what it's looking like, shingles. But hopefully it doesn't flare up. If it starts blistering, she has to go back in to get some, some medicine for shingles. But they gave her some muscle relaxes for her to take to help loosen up that muscle that she's dealing with. Just pray for us, y'all, because this week has been a trying week. And a week really, I mean, not but Wednesday. Like, what the hell? I mean, I'm pretty sure I ain't doing that. I'm not cooking nothing tonight. I don't, at this point, I, I can't do nothing. It's so hot. So I told Rayshawn we can't take out tonight. Whatever they want, I don't care. Just when he get home, he gonna bring that AC in here and sugar, sugar's panting back and forth. She's trying to get comfortable. She hot. So we just gonna all be downstairs tonight just so we can at least be a little cool. Um, and then tomorrow we're gonna speak that they can get the part requested in. Hopefully get this done by Saturday or something. I don't know. So I might not come back on here tonight, but I want to let you guys know the update of what's going on. <sighs> Mm -mm. This ain't. This is not for the week, yo. This is not for the week. But God, I still trust you no matter what. That's all I can say. So guys, this is the update. Rayshawn put the portable AC out the garage. It's it's showing that it's 80 degrees in here, but on the thermostat in the house it says 82. It's taking a long time to cool off, so I mean it's probably never gonna cool off. I took me a shower. Or Sean took him a shower. We're just chilling, watching a movie, and that's it, y'all. Just trying to stay cool, y'all. So we had to bring our bed. Or what? This is our old mattress. This is this is our mattress from Georgia. So Ray Sean bought this mattress in the house. So we are gonna be sleeping in the living room. I know Sugar is so happy. Excuse Ray Sean draws, but anyways, yeah, y'all. Just about to be a sleepover for real. And he gotta go to work tomorrow. I feel so bad for him. It's nine ten, y'all. We're watching Bob's Burgers, of course, and that's it. All right, guys, so we got a little sheet up here. Look at Miracle. Miracle, Miracle what it feel like in here? It's hot. Y'all. It's hot. It's hotter than my grandpa's house. It's suffocating. What? <laughs> suffocating. Don't even, don't even go upstairs. <laughs> I'm only up there because I'm on the phone. I'm telling you, upstairs is so hot. Thank hey, God. I, I I just it's just too freaking hot. So, Rashawn, we about to get our pillows. I'm about to get my CPAP machine, y'all. This is we about to have a whole summer party in here. I got the humidifier on. You sit over there. Gotta keep it circulating and moist in here because we about dried out from all this damn heat. <laughs> For real, this shit serious. Yeah, it's just it's too hot. Yeah, I mean, but what does it feel like, Miracle Asana? Yeah. Mhm. Mm Yeah, because the temperature is not supposed to drop down to 72 till 1 o'clock in the morning. So, guys, we're going to be hot like this for some hours. And I can't wait till it drop down. And I know we're going to feel the difference. Yeah, I know. We got, y'all, this shit is serious. I don't even want to have on no clothes, but I got Susan I'm sleeping downstairs. So, yeah, this is what we're doing. If I don't come back tonight, y'all, it's because we sleep. And I'll see y'all in the morning because this is some straight bull-ish. For real.